so we can calculate the number of moles of sodium number of moles of chlorine and hence we can calculate the volume of chlorine uh, or the mass of chlorine and similarly the mass of sodium produced so uh, these so these three equations that i have highlighted in squares so f is equal to le q is equal to it and q over f is equal to n uh, these three are the most important equations in this quantitative electrolysis so you need to be you need to remember them and you need to know how to make these half equations and then you'll be able to solve questions on quantitative electrolysis so talking about questions let's do some exercises some practice questions and we'll be good to go so using an equation state the relationship between the faraday constant f the avogadro constant l and the charge on the electron e so we know that f is equal to l e the value the student obtained was 1 faraday is equal to 9.63 into 10 to the power of 4 coulombs okay so right now they have given a value for a faraday so we don't need to do uh, we don't need to use 96500 coulomb per mole which i gave you but whenever they haven't given uh, such a value like such an accurate value like this then we will always be using this one so you have to remember that you will always use 96500 okay so use this value and your equation in b1 to calculate the avogadro constant take the charge on the electron to be 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs okay so this is the charge on the electron we also talked about so now what we have to calculate is the avogadro constant which means we have to calculate l now for that we will have to make l the subject which uh, so this will become l is equal to f over e which will become 9.63 into 10 to the power of 4 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so e is the electronic charge f is the faraday constant so l is equal to f over e and let me do this on my calculator let's see what we get so we get 6.23 significant figures we get 6.02 into 10 to the power of 23 now uh, we know that the avogadro constant is exactly this value so we will be good to go because our answer is correct obviously um, this is act the actual value of the avogadro constant now let's do another question most of the current passed through the cell is used to dissolve the copper at the anode and precipitate pure copper onto the cathode okay so uh, we we know that they are talking about copper however a small proportion of it is wasted in dissolving the impurities at the anode which then remain in solution okay when a current of 20 amps was passed through the cell for 10 hours it was found that 225 grams of pure copper was deposited on the cathode so this is the important part the rest of the question is just a story but this is the important part because these are where all the values are here so calculate the following using appropriate data from the data booklet number of moles of copper produced at the cathode so we know that n is equal to m over ar which is the mass produced over the atomic mass the mass produced is 225 the atomic mass of copper is i think 63.5 yeah 63.5 so when we calculate this let me do this on my calculator i get 3.54 moles 3 to 3 significant figures obviously 3.54 moles then the second thing we need to calculate is the number of moles of electrons needed to produce this copper so let's first write the equation that we see cu2 plus ions they gain two electrons to give cu metal so this means that every every two moles of electrons form one mole of copper so copper to electrons is a 1 is to 2 ratio so the number of moles of electrons will be equal to 3.54 into 2 which will be equal to 7.08 but more accurately 7.09 because i have used the actual value in my calculation even though i have stated the three significant figure value over here 
I will always use the actual calculator display to get the other answers. So rounded off to three significant figures. 